Well, issues with blue green algae, they have plagued our area for quite a while now with the latest algae alert being issued for the C51 canal, which spans all the way from Pahokee to the intracoastal. Now to tackle some of these issues, a task force is meeting right now in West Palm Beach. And that's where we find Josie Carbonari and Josie. How are they trying to stop these kind of situations from continuing to happen for years to come? Well, Mark, the meeting is actually still underway, but over the last two hours, we've been hearing from both the DEP and South Florida Water Management District on all of the current things that they're trying to do and all of the efforts that are being made to correct these issues. Now, the DEP first presented over 20 projects to task force members already in the works from vendors, including colleges and universities across the state, all of which aim to manage and get rid of algae blooms under the Innovative Technologies Grant Program. Three of the projects they are focusing on right now include nitrogen reduction, algae production and removal, and pro projects focused on algae in waterways. We're looking for those projects that are going to get to the source of the problem, which is the nutrients, the excessive nutrients we have in the water bodies within the state of Florida. You know, looking for ways to either prevent them from getting into the water body or how do we get them out once they're in in a, in a new and innovative way. Now, the DEP says more data is still needed from all of these projects. South Florida Water Management District then took the podium to present technology already being used like ultrasonic technology, sinking algae blooms, data tracking and drone technology, as well as the use of physical removal using pumps and treatment like what has been done at Pahokee Marina. Now, we're told vendors will also be uh, speaking during public comment, which should be happening closer to 145 this afternoon. The meeting will last until about 5 p.m. We're told we'll have all the latest both on air and online right here on WPBF. Reporting from West Palm Beach, Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.